we have 12 divided by 3 times 4. So, we have to know what operation to do first. We have to follow the order of operation. And in here, uh, we can use the so-called PANDAS to help us out. And this is what many people use as well. It's just an acronym to help us remember the word of operations. P stands for parentheses, but we don't have any parentheses, so we can skip that. E stands for exponent, but we don't have any little numbers here, here, there, right? So no exponents, again, we'll skip that. M stands for multiplication, and we do have a multiplication symbol here, so keep that in mind. Next, we have D stands for division, and we have this division here, and A stands for addition. And lastly, S stands for subtraction. We're just focusing on multiplication and division. So let me write that down again. 12 divided by 3 times 4. By the way, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I picked that number on purpose. But anyway, though, here's the thing. When people follow the so-called pandas, it's kind of dangerous because they first see the M, right? M is above D. So people tend to just do multiplication first before division. And especially we have the multiplication here. They will just do this. 3 times 4. Okay, that's 12. So we write down this 12, and then write down this division. 3 times 4 is 12. And then next, we just have to do 12 divided by 12, huh? So it looks okay, right? But let me tell you, no, this is actually not correct. C is not the answer, right? The answer is actually not equal to 1. And I really don't like the pandas because it does suggest us that n is like above d. The multiplication should go first before division. That's not true. Here, let me just organize this in another way for you guys. Let me organize the word of operation in a pyramid format. It has four levels. The bottom level is for addition or subtraction. Now, both of them are right here. And then the next level right here is multiplication and also division. And then this right here is exponent, so I'll just spell this out. But exp for exponent. And lastly, this is the parentheses, but technically it's the inside of the parentheses. So I will write this down. It's the inside of the parentheses. All right, so have a look right here. What do I mean by addition, subtraction, they are on the same level. Likewise, multiplication or division on the same level. Here, if they are on the same level, when you see them in an expression like this, you just go from left to right. Because this right here, they are on the same level. So let me just make a note. Left to right. Similarly, if you see the operations on the same level, you also go from left to right. So let's come back here again. If you have 12 divided by 3 times 4, well, we see that we have division and also multiplication. They are on the same level. So in that case, we go from left to right. So in fact, we do 12 divided by 3 first, and that will give us 4. And then we write down times 4, and then 4 times 4 is not 8, okay? 4 times 4 is 16. Make sure you know your times table well. So the answer for this is 16, right? The answer for that is 16. Yep, just like that. And now, here, let me give you guys another example. Just let's say this is number one. Let's practice another one. For example, if we have 12 minus 3 times 4. As you can see, we have subtraction, which is the bottom level. And then we have multiplication, which is the level above, right? In this case, we multiply first, right? 3 times 4, we multiply that first. We will have 12. And then you bring down the minus. 3 times 4, we get 12. All right? And then we proceed by subtracting this and that. So this question, we will end up with 0. 